Olantzaro, Basque pronunciation, Olantz, Eo, sometimes Olentzaro or Olantzaro, is a character in Basque Christmas tradition. According to Basque traditions Olantzaro comes to town late at night on 24 December to drop off presents for children. In some places he arrives later, for example in Ochagavia, Otsagavia on the 27th and in Ermua on the 31st. The name The name Olantzaro appears in a number of variations, Onanzaro, Onanzaro, Alentzaro, Onanzaro, Orantzago and others. The earliest records give the name as Onantzaro and the name is most likely composed of two elements, on, good, plus a genitive plural ending and the suffix zero which in Basque denotes a season, compare words like Hartzaro, childhood, so, time of the good ones, literally. This suggests a derivation similar to the Spanish Nochebuena, but the origin of Onantzaro, corresponding to the old feast of the winter solstice, is older than that of Christmas which historically replaced the festival of Sol Invictus in 380 under Theodosius I in the Roman Empire. Other theories of derivation exist but are not generally accepted. From a metathesis of Noel, theory of S. Altub. From a fusion of O Nazarene from Christian liturgy, theory of J. Gorostiaga. From Ol's arrow. Om season. A phonologically impossible derivation by Julio Caro Baroyan parts of Navarre. This holiday is called Zubalaro or Subalaro from Subal, the word for a Yule log plus the suffix zero. In parts of Lower Navarre, the word suclero is used, a contraction of siculero. Siculero has no clear etymology but is likely to be related to Latin secularis. The legend There are many variations to the Olanzero traditions and stories connected to him, sometimes varying from village to village. The first written account of Olanzero is from Lope de Izasti in the 17th century, a la noche de Navidad, llamamos, Onanzaro, la sazón de los buenos. To Christmas Eve, we call Onanzaro, the season of the good ones. One common version has Olanzaro being one of the Gentilic, a mythological race of Basque giants living in the Pyrenees. Legend has it that they observed a glowing cloud in the sky one day. None of them could look at this bright cloud except for a very old, nearly blind man. When asked to examine it, he confirmed their fears and told them that it was a sign that Jesus would be born soon. According to some stories, the old man asked the giants to throw him off a cliff to avoid having to live through Christianization. Having obliged him, the giants tripped on the way down and died themselves except Olanzero. Other versions have the Gentilic simply leaving, with only Olanzero remaining behind to embrace Christianity. Parts of Olanzero legend are reminiscent of a prehistoric cult rituals surrounding the winter solstice, such as the involvement of ritual. Last meals and sacrifices of rebirth. Other versions of the Alentsororan Kandera, or History of Olanzero, tell that as a newborn he was abandoned in the woods and was found by a fairy who gave him the name Olanzero, bestowed gifts of strength and kindness on him and handed him to an older childless couple living alone in the woods. He turned into a strong man and charcoal burner who was also good with his hands, carving wooden toys that he would carry in a big charcoal bag to give to the children of the village. It is said that he died one day saving children from a burning house and that when he died, the fairy who had found him granted him eternal life to continue to bring joy to children and people. Other variations of the legend, customs and the character include In Areso children would be told to come home early. An adult would then dress up as Olantzero and scare the children still out on the streets with a sickle. In Uharte Arakil he was traditionally suspended from a rope from a window, dressed in a straw mantle, in Lekunberi the effigy was attached to the chimney. In Baristegi if the children did not want to go to bed, a sickle would be thrown down the chimney and the children told that Olanzero would come to cut their throats if they didn't go to bed. In Dima a straw puppet dressed as Olanzero with a sickle would be hung from the church tower after the midnight mass on Christmas Eve and if children had been behaving badly, people would say Onansaro Begi Gori Tegzaminira da Itori, Austin Balden Badagu Barua, Oric Lapoa Kendu Guri. Olanzero with the red eyes has come to the chimney, if we break the fast, he will cut our throats. 
referring to the traditional fast in the week before Christmas. In Larown he was called Onanzaro and said to have three eyes and usually depicted as a drunkard dressed like a scarecrow. People would ask Onanzaro Begi Gori, non Arapatu duck or Rai Ori. Olanzero of the red eyes, where did you catch that fish i.e. inebriation, and the answer would be Bart Aratsiko Amikidan Zariolako Arakidan, last night at 11 in the rocks of Zariola. Modern customs and derivation Around 1952, in Francoist Spain, a group called Irinci Elkarsha from Zarauts began to revive the Olanzero traditions. Some of the more gruesome elements were removed to make Olanzero more suitable for young children and to remove elements which were deemed too pagan. From 1956 onwards, the revived Olanzero traditions began to spread outside those parts of Gipicoa where the traditions hailed from. During the 1970s he began to take on further new attributes, such as the bringer of gifts in attempts to find an alternative to the Spanish tradition of the Magi and the French per Noel, summed up in the slogan Aragic, Espanolic. The three wise men are Spanish. Today Olanzero is celebrated all over the Basque country and coexists with the Magi, Per Noel and Father Christmas, some families choosing to celebrate one or more at the same time. In the modern version, Olanzero is depicted as a lovable character, widely attributed to being overweight, having a huge appetite and thirst. He is depicted as a Basque peasant wearing a Basque beret, a farmer's attire with traditional abarcata shoes and smoking a pipe. Whether he has a beard or not is not yet an established tradition. Sometimes his face is stained with charcoal, as a sign of his trade as a charcoal burner. On Christmas Eve, groups of people or children carry effigies of Olanzero around on a chair through the streets, singing Olanzero carols and collecting food or sweets, not unlike the American trick or treat, and the traditions surrounding the holiday of Santa Agueda in the Basque country where Olzagidia, asking for alms, is practiced. At the end, it is customary in some places to burn the Olanzero, for example in Lusaka. Variation is still common, both regionally and culturally depending on whether the pagan or Christian aspects of Alentsaro are being emphasized. Near the sea, he is usually takes on more marine attributes, inland he remains thoroughly rural in nature. Olentzero songs Similar to European Christmas carols, there are Olentzero kontak. Two very common ones are Olentzero Olentzero Buru Handia. The title translates as Olentzero Big Head. An aroba is an old measure equivalent to just over 11 kg. Notes References Ansorina, J. Uskal Kontak, Donostia 1993. Askew, Erm 1934 Uskalarir and Yakinza, R.E.P.R. Bilbao 1989 Barandiaran, J. Dictionnaire illustré de mythologie basque, Donostia 1994 Itzagoyan, J. Orhipian, Zamar 1996 Article in the Corio Digital External links Media related to Olanzero at Wikimedia Commons Olanzero.net, Olanzero's official website of Pamplona Arunya, Lusaka, Bayona Bayon, among many other locations.